Tool Neurosurgeon. Welcome to Medicine Boys. I'm going to be talking about spina bifida. Now, spina bifida is, one of, is the most common permanently disabled birth defect. It affects about uh, one out of every 1,400 to 1,500 newborns in the United States. Spina Bifida Association conservatively estimates that there are 70,000 people living in the United States with the condition. The prevalence appears to have decreased in recent years due to due in part to preventative measures followed by expectant mothers prior to and during pregnancy as well as parental, uh, parental testing. Spina Bifida occurs during the third and fourth weeks of pregnancy when a portion of the fetal spinal cord fails to properly close. As a result, the child is born with a part of the spinal cord exposed on the back. Although scientists believe that genetic and environmental fa factors may act together to cause spina bifida, 95% of babies with spina bifida are born to parents with no family history. Women with certain chronic health problems inclu including diabetes and seizures, disorders, uh, or having a baby with spina bifida. Now there are many types of spina bifidas. Uh, there are three types actually. The oculata, or oculta, oculta, is often called hidden spina bifida as the spinal cord and the nerves are usually normal and there is no opening on the back. In this form of the spina bifida, there is only a small defect or gap in the small bones of the vertebra that make up the spina uh, the spine in many cases spina bifida oculta is so mild that there is no disturbance of spinal function at all and most people are not aware that uh, they have spina bifida oculta unless it is it, it is discovered on an x-ray which they can they they have for for an unrelated reason. However, one in 1,000 individuals will have such neurological defects, deficits, or, or disabilities as bowel or bladder dysfunction, uh, back pain, leg weakness, or scolio scoliosis. Scoliosis. Sorry. The other form of spina bifida is meningocele. Occurs when the bones do not close around the spinal cord and the meninges are pushed out through the opening, causing a fluid filled sac to form. The meninges are three layers of membranes covering the spinal cord, consisting of dura, arachnoid, and pia mater. In most cases, the spinal most cases the spinal cord and the nerves themselves are normal or not severely affected. The sac is often covered by the by skin and may require surgery. This is the rarest type of spina bifida. Now the final one is uh, meningocele accounts for about 75% of all cases of spina bifida. This is the most severe from the condition in which a portion of the spinal cord itself protrudes through the back. In some cases, sacs are covered with skin, but in other cases, tissue and nerve may, nerves may be exposed. The extent of neurological disabilities is directly related to the location and severity of the spinal cord defect. When the bottom of the spinal cord is involved, if the bottom of the spinal cord is involved, there may be only bowel and bladder dis dysfunction, while the more the more severe cases can result in total paralysis of the legs with accompanying bowel and bladder dysfunction. A baby born with spina bifida needs to have the exposed part of the spinal cord repaired to prevent further injury and infection. A neurosurgeon places the neural tissues back in the spine canal, the spinal canal, and then closes the muscle and the skin. A plastic surgeon may get involved if there is a large area that is difficult to close. This procedure used to be considered a medical emergency done a few hours after birth. Surgery is now most often completed within the first 48 hours of the baby's life. About 80 to 90 percent of children with spina bifida develop hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus is a condition in which excess cerebrospinal fluid, the CSF, builds up with the ventricles, fluid containing cavities, 
of the brain and may increase pressure within the head. Most of these children rec will require a ventricle shunt to control the buildup of, this, of spinal fluid. The shunt will remain in place throughout the individual's life, but usually needs to be replaced several times. Alright, so what's the prognosis? If a child is paraplegic, has no movement of the legs from the hips down, he or she will need to need a wheelchair. If a child is born with movement of the high of the thigh muscles and feeling down to below the knees, the chances are good he or she will be able to walk with some sort of brace support. When there are no brain abnormalities, the child may have average or above average intelligence, even if there is advanced hydrocephalus at birth. Fortunately, with proper medical care, many children with spina bifida can lead active and productive lives. 20-year uh, follow-up studies of children with spina bifida show that they enter college in the same proportion as the general population, and many are actively employed. With recent uh, advancements in medical medical case care, sorry, for these children, their outlook continued continues to improve. So, what exactly is the prevention, the treatment? Well, women of child-bearing age can reduce their risk of having a child with spina bifida by taking 400 micrograms mcg of folic acid every day. Because it is water-soluble, folic acid does not stay in your body for very long and needs to be taken every day to be effective against neural defects. Since half of all pregnancies in the United States are unplanned, folic acid must be taken whether a woman is planning pregnancy or not. Research has shown that if all, all women of childbearing age took a multivitamin with uh, B vitamin folic acid, the risk of neural tube defects could be reduced by up to 70%. Thank you for listening. I'm Mark Tooley. Goodbye.